SFRC online. We are looking at wire grass, uh, one of the most common grasses throughout the ecosystems in the southeastern United States, and one of the major and dominant species under the longleaf pine ecosystem. Uh, wire grass is a clump or bunch forming grass, meaning it occurs in these clumps and it doesn't spread like many of our other grasses by rhizomes or, uh, or underground stems that are going out to the side. But they stay as these, these bunches that will persist for decades, uh, even if it's burned every year. And this whole area that we're looking at has been burned every year for 25 years. These are probably the same clumps of grass that were here way back when that first started. The wire grass is a, uh, is a, in that bunch form, there's a very large number of these wire-like leaves that come up out of it. Let's take a look at those a little bit more closely. And it's these wire-like leaves that burn off and then re-sprout from the root crown very, very soon after a fire goes across it. There are some other grasses that look like this, and one of the ways of telling these wire grass in particular from the other grasses is that if you pull up a couple of the leaves out of that root crown, there are small tufts of white hair at the bottom of wire grass where there is not in the other grasses. This will only regenerate by seed after a fire that occurs in May or June. And without that fire, it will just stay as these grass uh, or bunches of, of uh, leaves on it without these seed stalks. These stalks have come up because we burned this last June. They shot up in about July or August, and the seeds all form along the tops of it. And each of these little individual clusters you see along here is one of the seeds that has three little awn-like or hair-like structures sticking out of it. Wiregrass scientific name I did not mention is Aristida stricta or Aristida barishiana, depending on who you're talking to. It goes by both of those names. The ecological role of this particular grass in the ecosystems has been to carry fire throughout the longleaf ecosystem. And when it gets interlaced with these pine needles that are laying across it right now, it becomes a marvelous fine fuel to carry surface fires throughout this without high intensities. 